so hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i will explain problem b that was party from round 8 10 right uh, again i am making this video mid contest so i will really appreciate a like on the video so please do that before you start the video yeah so let's start with the problem so the problem in itself is really complicated but i will give you the gist or the main thing that the problem is asking all right so in the problem we are organizing a party and we are inviting n people numbered from 1 2 3 so on up to n right and each of these has an unhappiness value and each of these have an unhappiness value let's say these are a1 a2 a3 so on up to n so if we do not invite person 1 he will be unhappy with value a1 right uh, also we have been given m pairs we have been given m pairs uh, let's say these are x1, y1, x2, y2, so on up to xm, yn. So given these things, we want to invite people such that only even number of pairs are invited. That is, we want to invite people such that there are only even number of pairs that are invited. Invite people such that only even number of pairs are invited right and along with this we want to minimize the unhappiness value right because when you are inviting even number of pairs you may left out some people and they will be unhappy so you also want to minimize that unhappiness value so you also want to minimize unhappiness value so that's the problem basically so uh, given n people and m pairs you want to invite the people such that only even number of pairs are selected and the unhappiness value is minimized so how can we do this so i will break this into two cases and we will solve the two cases separately so let's move on to the cases so the first case is case one when m is even right if m is even then the total number of pairs are even right total number of pairs are even right that is total number of pairs are even then we can just in invite everybody right because if we invite everybody all the m pairs will be invited and the total number of pairs will be even right so we can just invite everybody in this case because total number of pairs are even itself so invite everybody and the unhappiness value in this case will be how much unhappiness value will be zero right because we are inviting everybody and nobody is left uninvited right so unhappiness value will be equal to zero so that was the simpler case so let's move on to the complicatedness case now and that is when m is odd right so let's move on to case two So the second case is when M is odd. So basically we want we want to choose now even pairs out of these odd pairs. We want to choose even pairs out of these odd pairs. Or you can say that we want to ignore odd number of pairs among these odd pairs, right? Because you have odd pairs, right? You have x1, y1, x2, y2 so on till xm ym these are odd so if you can somehow ignore odd number of pairs from these if you somehow ignore odd number of pairs from these then the leftover pairs will be even right then we can simply choose this so you can rephrase this thing choosing even pairs out of these odd pairs you can rephrase this to ignoring odd pairs right you want to ignore some number of odd pairs such that the unhappiness value is minimized unhappiness value is minimized so how can we do this so there are two ways to ignore the odd pairs right so we will now talk about those two ways right so way one way one is find a person who is not occurring uh, who is occurring sorry who is occurring in odd number of pairs who is occurring in odd number of pairs 
and don't invite him. That is, let's say you have some pairs, right? X1, Y1, X2, Y2, so on till XM, YM, right? These are odd. Let's say you find some person X who is occurring in odd number of pairs, right? Let's say he is occurring X, he is occurring here, right? Let's say these are odd. Then if we do not invite X, then these pairs will not be valid anymore, right? Then the only pairs left over will be these pairs and these will be even, right? So now you're inviting even number of pairs. So one way is to find a person who is occurring in odd number of pairs and don't invite him. And the unhappiness value in this case will be how much? Unhappiness value in this case will be uh, A of capital X, right? So you can iterate over all the persons and find a person who is occurring in odd number of pairs and check the unhappiness value for him and you will choose the person whose unhappiness, unhappiness value is minimum, right? So the approach for this will be iterate over all persons and if frequency of x is equal to odd then answer is equal to minimum of answer and a of x right. so that's the first way now this is not the only way right this is not the only way so the second way to remove odd number of pairs is the second way to remove odd number of pairs is way number two choose a pair let's say capital X, capital Y, where both X and Y, both X and Y are occurring even times and remove both of them and remove both of them. So for example, Uh, you have x1 y1 x2 y2 so on till xm ym so you will iterate over all pairs right and you will uh, for every pair you will check right let's say there is some pair x and y let's say the x is occurring even times right this is even and y is also occurring even times right this is also even right and overall this is odd right so you will basically iterate over all pairs x, y and check if x and y both are occurring uh, even number of times and then remove them, right? Because like x is occurring even number of times, y is occurring even number of times and there is an overlap here and there is an overlap here. So in total, these number of pairs will be how much? These number of pairs will be odd, right? These number of pairs will be odd. So pairs containing x, y will be odd. x or y will be equal to Odd. and so if you remove these the left number of pair, pairs will be even the leftover pairs will be even so that's the second approach so iterate over all pairs and x comma y if frequency of x is even and frequency of y is even then answer is equal to minimum of how much answer and we are not inviting two people here right we are not inviting x and we are not inviting y so the unhappiness value value will be how much a of x plus a of y right so that will be the approach so if m is even the answer is simple enough if m is odd you have to remove odd number of pairs and for that there are two ways first of all you will find a person who is occurring in odd number of pairs and remove him otherwise uh, you will for every pair see if x and y are occurring even number of times and then you will try to remove them and find their unhappiness value so your answer will be the minimum of all the unhappiness values that you will find in both the approaches so if you want to see the code for this here's the code right so this is my cost uh, or the un unhappiness value and here I'm keeping frequency to keep count at how many times this this is occurring, right? Because we have to count if it is occurring even number of times or odd number of times. So this is where frequency will help. And then I'm keeping track of all the pairs in my vector half. So first, first of all, I take in all the cost. 
then I will take in my pairs and I will push them into half and increase their frequency, right? And then if M is even, then the answer is zero itself. Otherwise, if M is odd, then I will do my both approaches. So here's my approach one. So for every element, I will check if the frequency of that element is odd. If that is odd, I will uh, update my new answer to answer and the uh, unhappiness value of that element, right? So after approach one, I will move on to approach two, right? So then I will iterate over all the pairs and I will check if both the elements have e even frequency. And if both the elements have even frequency, then my answer will be how much? Answer will be answer equal to minimum of answer and unhappiness value of first element and the second element, right? And then I will just print out my overall answer here. So that was it for this problem. And if you guys have a doubt, feel free to join my Discord server and I will answer your doubts there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Also, if you guys don't know, Continue Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything. There is zero hidden fees, there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs. So it is a very great opportunity. Also, all their mentors are from top MNCs like Google, Flipkart, Zomato, etc. Also, they will get you placed into the top MNCs as well, like Google, Flipkart, Zomato. Uh, so, uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourself. Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think that I coding not have coding, I don't have to The course is over 6 months long and they will teach you from scratch. So you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field, this is a very, uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for. And if you uh, want to land a job, I highly, uh, I highly vouch for this. And uh, if you guys want to sign up, there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there. So yeah, you know, be sure to sign up for this and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.